This morning, a new partnership between Upstate Law Enforcement and the nonprofit Upstate Warrior Solutions will take shape to improve the lives of local veterans. Yeah, we'll be there as the organization sign an agreement to solidify them working together, but we wanted to learn more ahead of time. So Fox Carolina's Justin Dorsey caught up with some of the organizers. He's live now in front of the Greenville Law Enforcement Center sharing those details. Justin. Yeah, the organizers from Upstate Warrior Solutions tell us that over the years they've really been able to help out thousands of people, but because of this new partnership, it's going to help them really expand their reach and really get in tune with some of those people that they haven't been able to see previously. Now, we found out that several city council members, as well as the sheriff and the police chief, all going to be in attendance this morning here at the Law Enforcement Center to talk about this agreement. Now, we learned that law enforcement officials will help identify those veterans who are in need when they interact with them at any point, and then direct them, you know, in the right direction for help. Now, with the help of the Greenville Police Department and the Greenville County Sheriff's Office, they're going to be able to reach more veterans because of the hundreds, even thousands of people they interact with on a weekly basis. Now, again, they said they've been able to help out a lot of people, but they wanted to expand their reach to help out so many different men and women. Take a look. We've been doing it for several years, and we've got these MOUs with other uh, sheriff's offices and detention centers across the upstate, but this really is about, this is the first one to where we'll have a city and a county at the same time doing it. <laughs> All right, now what you're looking at right now on your screen is the crisis resource contact numbers. Cards like these are going to be the ones passed out by law enforcement to those veterans, you know, when they come in contact with them. So that way they can help point them in the right direction. Now, later on this morning here at the law enforcement center, starting right around 10 o'clock, that's when they're going to start signing that agreement. Of course, we're going to be in attendance. We're going to be streaming that right live for you on Facebook as well, guys.